Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and welcome back to the Younguns. So I think this is part fifty-one, and I think today is going to be kind of a fun part. It's not going to be anything too serious. But it does have something to do with one of the plot lines that I want to start focusing on a little bit. So if you guys can remember ages ago, I said that there was a guy from Nina's past who was going to come in and he was going to make life hell for Nina and Alexi and the youngins in general, like all the people that we love. He is going to come back and he's going to screw them up in a big way. So what I have done is I have changed one of his traits. He was hot-headed, evil, and he was also ambitious, but I have now made him a klepto. So he's a kleptomaniac, which means that he likes to swipe things that aren't particularly his. As you can see, Minx doesn't have a lot. Is his name? Yeah, Minx. Um, that's obviously not his real name, that's like his cult name, but that's what everyone called him. But yeah, Minx doesn't have a lot to his name. He sleeps in a tent, he just, he can obviously afford a lot, um, but that's only because I bought this plot and didn't change his money. Um, but he has like a fire and a thing over here and then he just sleeps in his tent he has his little cooler he doesn't have much to his name at all um he's kind of been living out here so that he can watch and stalk nina and uh, wow that just shows the character that he is but yeah he's just pretty much been watching her getting um the info that he needs on her and I have made a club he is in this club by himself I was gonna put him with the uh the renegades but then I thought he would not fit in with them like look at that face he is so menacing so we made an own club called menace and he wants to sabotage objects swipe objects and he wants to be mean to everyone look at that face like he's gonna be mean to everyone oh he looks super happy just munching on his grilled his grilled fruit um we need to like buy a bush for him actually now that we have the bushes i feel like this is really good for like the homeless challenge or like the runaway teen which i've already done on um on my here we go on my channel i've already done the all right we're gonna go for this one i've done the runaway teen challenge so we're just gonna put this here in this back corner because we want it to be a little bit out of the way from his uh tent so that he's not peeing on his tent and making it all smelly but yeah he uh he's a pretty bad guy not gonna lie he's not that great uh we should probably is there a bin around here yeah there is okay that's good that means we can just put our food in there and now he has a bush to like we in so he should be all good but in this part we are gonna play as minx and we're kind of go gonna go around to alexi's we're gonna get in a fight with him we really dislike alexi they are enemies and despise we really despise nina as well obviously she left the cult and um kind of left Minx on his own like they were kind of close until he turned really evil <gasps> Alexi's actually a run oh no this is Marcus isn't it damn I thought it was Alexi they actually have like the same hairstyle so I thought it was him but it's not unfortunately but we can travel hopefully the boys will be in they aren't expecting us we're gonna swipe a few objects I know that we're not gonna use them but we're just gonna um, basically the way that we're gonna play it out, why did I click Magnolia Promenade? Did not mean to click that. The way that we're gonna play this out with Minx is I'll be playing him every few parts and we'll be stealing objects, we'll kind of be making, like, the boys think that they're going crazy. Our plan is not to get caught, which is gonna be difficult because there's like four of them living in this house and we're gonna have to try and dodge them. So I am setting myself a challenge here. Like, obviously they need to see us because we need to introduce ourselves. We're probably gonna introduce ourselves to, um, well, we're going to knock on the door and I don't know who's going to answer. Hopefully it won't be Alexi because it's not very realistic. I don't think he'd let us into his house. Maybe we could just pretend that we broke in. But physically in The Sims, you can't break in, obviously. So the 
there's a little bit of not realistic realism, I guess, but we're gonna try and make it as realistic as we can. So we're gonna knock on the door, and once we're allowed in, we'll go in and we'll like sneak into a couple of rooms, steal some stuff. Oh, see, no one's even answered the door. Where should we start off? Maybe we should start off with this. Um, oh, we should probably... Oh, we need to recruit two members? Are you kidding me? This means that we just need to add a randomer. Uh, this guy doesn't look suspect at all. Uh, who should we add? I'm trying to think. We want someone who doesn't look that suspect. Maybe Wolfgang or Olivia. <gasps> We're gonna get Olivia on our case. There we go. We're gonna start a gathering. Oh, damn. We can only start- I should have done this before because he's not- Is it- if he's a klepto, can he literally just swipe objects? Um, I'm gonna test this. We're gonna go over here. Because if we don't need to start a club gathering to swipe things, obviously you do to uh, start sabotaging things, which we will explore in this part too. Um, oh, no, Joey, don't come in. Joey. Joey, stay out there. I feel like he's so gonna come in. We can't- I don't even know how you swipe things as a, um, as a klepto. Like, this is a new trait, so I don't really know. I should have probably checked this out before I started recording this part. But it's me, and I don't do that, do I? I come in unprepared, as always. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I just realised off-screen that... What you need to do to be able to swipe things is actually have some mischief skill and I realised I hadn't played around with the cheats and got Minx to where I wanted him to be in his skill set. Obviously, he's not a brand new sim, he's kind of lived here for a while and stuff and he's lived in the cult and things like that so he would have skills. So I made it a little bit more realistic, I gave him a little bit of charisma because you know, although he is an evil menace, he should be good at talking talking to people and kind of getting his own way. He's a bit manipulative and stuff like that. He knows handiness and herbalism from the cult and they were very like open and lived off the land and stuff like that. I feel like they were very closely kept together. They just hung out with each other and they all learnt the skills that they needed to survive basically. And I did give him Mischief 8 because I do want him to be very mischievous and a bit on the evil side, let's not lie, he is pretty evil. So for this part, I think we are going to start a gathering now that we're back on our lot. Um, we are just going to start a club gathering and the others have been notified. So Olivia has arrived, she is here, which means that we are now, she's going to start doing stuff on our lot if we don't move. <laughs> um, so we're quickly going to go back to the boys house and basically I think we only really need to hide from Alexi because he knows us, whereas the other two don't really know, know us, Jared doesn't know us. So we can kind of... um. Just play it off as like us being one of Alexi's friends. Even though we look shady as hell, um, I still don't think the boys would like think anything of it. They'd just be like, oh, he's clearly a friend of Alexi's, even though Alexi freaking hates us. So we are going to knock on this door. Hopefully they'll let us back in. Yep, there we go. And basically what we can do now is swipe objects, I think, maybe. I think you might have to be in a room for it, but we can also, what we are going to do is go here. I'm hoping we can sabotage this, um, but it doesn't look like we can, to be honest. Why can we not sabotage the oven? Can we sabotage any of these in here? Uh, we can clog the drain. Okay, we're going to go clog the drain. I thought you'd be able to sabotage um, ovens. But clearly not. I think if we like, yeah, there we go. We can attempt to swipe things. So we're going to start off like pretty small. We're just going to take some smaller objects. Uh, maybe like s tell the boys that they're going crazy. We can also clog this drain, which is good. Um, we can clog all the drains. We aren't going to do the bath. We'll leave the bath because we don't want the boys to be really stinky. We'll just try and clog that one. So let's do this. Oh no, he's going to come in. 
Oh no! <laughs> We've been caught by Silas. Silas is like, dude, what are you doing? This is inappropriate. Don't do that one. God damn it, why did you have to come in, Silas? Seriously? Oh, for God's sakes. That's so annoying that he came in. Right, let's go to a room where no one is. Uh, let's go try to clog this drain. Why did Silas have to come in? That was so annoying. I'm going to keep an eye on him. I'm going to stay on this floor. Is Joey about to come up? Please don't. What are you doing? Oh my god, why are they both coming in? Is it because it is inappropriate on their lot? Probably. Stop, stop, stop. Zo Joey's about to come in. Or Silas is. Look at Silas. You do not want to be messing with that. What are you doing? So how does he know what we're doing? This is inappropriate. Please stop. Gosh darn it, I didn't think that this was going to happen. That means that we'll have to, like, invite him over as we're playing as Nina so that it's not inappropriate. Oh, I don't even know. Right, we should go swipe some smaller objects. Um, can we, like, attempt to sw uh, I don't even know what to swipe, to be honest. We can't do anything massive. We can do, like, chess. <laughs> right, is that Right, we're going to attempt to swipe this. You do not want to be messing with that. That guy is a rock. Seriously, look at his body. <laughs> Minx is so tiny as well. He's like a scrawny little fella. Like, he is tiny. His waist is really small. There we go. Minx successfully swiped an object without drawing any unwanted attention. Okay, sweet. So we have started swiping things. Um, ah. Hey, Minx. I'd, we'd love to have you join Party House. No thanks, not interested. Right, so you can only really swipe one object, like, every hour or so, probably. Um, can we, like, do something big? Can we, like, <gasps> We can, like, swipe computers. That's insane. I really want to, like, ruin objects, though. But he keeps saying that it's rude, which... I guess it is rude to do that, but I really want to do it. Oh, I'm so annoyed that we aren't getting away with this. Like, it's really annoying me. Um, and you can only swipe, like, every so often, which is more irritating. So we're kind of just hanging around at the boys' house for nothing. Um, I guess we could go to, like, a public lot and start kind of, like, clogging their drains just to... Whoa, what are you about to do? A flirty intro? <gasps> this could be good, though. We could kind of, like, hit on Joey. I don't know. Maybe get him on our good side. He's just going to straight up flirt with him, though, apparently. He wants to do a flirty intro. This is so cool that you can now swipe objects. I really like that. Um, what is everyone doing? Why are we all stood in a group? Oh, a little bromance going on here. <laughs> what is happening? I am so confused. <laughs> is he like, still flirting with him? No, I don't think he is. I think they're... Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, my goodness. That was, like, out of the blue. I didn't even make him do that, but it's now an awkward encounter. Poor Joey. <laughs> Joey's like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, bless him. He's such a little sweetheart. Uh, I feel like now that we can't swipe anything else... It's kind of pointless to be here. How often can we swipe an object? When does this run out? 33 minutes. Okay. So I'm guessing when the moodlet runs out is when we can swipe another object. That's what I'm guessing. This part is really just exploring this new kleptomaniac trait. It came with the latest patch update, which is free to all Sims 4 players. So if you have Sims 4, then you now have the klepto trait. Uh, don't be mean to him. Don't be mean to him. You need someone in this house on your good side. Uh, we're going to enthuse about his interests. And we're going to give him a little heartfelt compliment. Just because we do want someone in this house to be on our side. Okay, so we... Okay, so this works well. So once you get rid of the klepto thing, it means you can go back to swiping objects. We're going to go for something a little bigger. We're going to go uh, attempt to swipe this stereo. So let's go do that. Come on, Minx. 
Let's do it. I love how he's called Minx as well because it really sets up your cheeky Minx, <laughs> which I really like. So we're going to attempt to swipe this. This is actually from Jared's room and I'm sure he'll know. Yes. Minx successfully Goodbye. swiped an object without drawing any unwanted attention. The item can be found in his household inventory. The only annoying thing is now that when I want to, because I do want to start sabotaging Nina, but I think, okay, we should leave this room. Leave the room leave the room um just because i don't want these two suspecting anything oh oh silas is coming to talk with us i'm scared of silas oh my god don't pick a fight with him jeez have you seen the size of this man his arms are as big as your waist minx this is silly why are you doing that you are just ruining life for yourself. You are making life much harder for yourself. What is happening here? I am so confused. Oh, man. What? Oh, he's like seeing Silas. He's like, I need to start working out. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened just there. He's like, okay, damn boy, you have some abs. I should probably start doing some sit-ups. AKA me whenever I see a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> Oh, all the boys are going to work. So hopefully if we don't get kicked out, we can start clogging things then, which is good. I'm hoping we don't get kicked out once like Silas goes to work. That would be so good. We can like swipe TVs, we can clog everything, we can make their lives hell. I'm hoping anyway. So he should go to work at 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. I'm not too sure, but um you don't play you don't play off the I'm innocent. You don't give off that vibe, mate. Especially when you're sat there laughing manically to yourself. <laughs> like that's just terrible. I'm glad Alexi didn't see us though. Um because I think to the other boys we're just some other friend. Whereas to Alexi he knows who we are. Um are we gonna get kicked out? Please tell me we are not. <gasps> he's leaving, he's leaving, he's leaving, and we're still in the house. Hell yes, we've got the house to ourselves. Right, Minx, get down here. You're going to clog this drain for me. You're going to clog this drain. <laughs> yes! <laughs> here we go, we're going to town on their house. Let's just clog everything before they get back. There we go, he's broke that one, which is good. Um... I don't know why we're not getting the sabotage object thing. Like, we're just getting clogged drain. Which, maybe that just comes with handiness. Or mischief. I don't really know. I feel like we should have a sabotage for, like, electricals. Uh, oh, is this because... Oh, it's because we're not in a club gathering anymore. I see. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, what I'm gonna do is our club hangout is gonna be their, um, their house just for now. So let's, oh, we can't. Wait, general friend news. Why can't we just choose their house? So it either has to be our house or it has to be, um, I see. I see, I see. Maybe we could get uh, Joey into our club and then we can like sabotage things. But we have just done this, which is good. Prank successful. Okay, so yeah, this is just a prank. So we aren't actually sabotaging them. To sabotage it, we need to... Um, we're going to go clog this drain and we'll clog this one too. Uh, yeah, so maybe we'll get a boy in on it, like someone who lives here so that we can actually hold club meetings here but joey doesn't seem like the type of guy to join a club like that i guess we could like i don't know it's gonna be a difficult one it's gonna be a difficult one i'm not too sure how to get about this you guys should let me know like the clog drain thing is cool but we can't really mess with any electricals which is kind of irritating because i would like to like mess these up which with sabotaging you can do i feel like we should swipe like one bigger object as well um before we leave so who's this is this harvey yeah okay i thought it was joey i was like damn he's back from work early 
There we go. That one's clogged. The boys are going to get back and they're going to be like, we knew we shouldn't have trusted that minx. Um, right, what else should we swipe? We have one more object to swipe and then we'll leave before the boys get back. Should we just go for a computer? Should we just go all out? Go attempt to swipe that computer. They were all using it as well, so it's a pretty big thing. Uh, Minx is a kleptomaniac Sims. Sims become tense if they have not swiped any objects recently. I will also gain a boost of energy after a successful object swipe. Careful not to get caught swiping objects as this can make a kleptomaniac Sim embarrassed. And he successfully swiped an object without drawing any unwanted attention. Sweet! We are getting it! Mm -mm. So we're doing really well. Um, but that is an annoying thing. It is kind of really irritating. Ooh, there's hot dogs here. As Minx is a lonely sim who, um, who, yeah, uh, kind of lives by himself and doesn't really get much food, we're just going to travel to the park by ourselves. We're going to have some of these hot dogs that a very nice sim has made for us because it means that we aren't going to eat alone. But I am impressed that he, he pretty much flooded two bathrooms for the boys, which are probably never going to get fixed until I play that household again. <laughs> I'll probably go back onto that household and they'll just be like puddles everywhere i swear it's gonna be hell to clean up um but we're gonna oh now they've gone okay that's cool hot dogs that's cool uh we're gonna grill some veggie burgers um so let's do that let's get these veggie burgers going is this leah oh my goodness leah's here which is like um Thingy stepmom, which is actually quite good. Not stepmom, adopted mother. This is Nina's adopted mother, so maybe we can try and get on her good side. And like, she's like a really nice old lady, so she'd like feel sorry for us and invite us back to hers. So we're gonna give her a friendly introduction. We're, this is where we get our charm on, and we're gonna grab a serving of this. Um, but yeah, this is where we get our charm on. We try and swoon an old lady, get her on our side, so that she starts feeling sorry for us and stuff like that. Uh huh. We got this all worked out. He's a, he's a good one. This one. He's logical. He can see things, and he's like, yo, I know what to do. I know the plan here. So we're gonna try and get on her good side. We're going to enthuse about her interests and we're going to flatter her a little bit and we're going to um, also um, brighten her day a bit. He's clever. This one's a clever one. He really is, guys. Do you see where I'm going with this? Like, she's going to take us under her wing and we're just going to use her. So we're going to grab a serving. But it's not because it's Leah. It's literally we're just trying to get back at Nina. Um, oh, he's happy because he's near misery. That's <laughs> That's so mean. He's such a tight sim. He's so mean. It's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I can't believe him. But here we go. We got our veggie burger. We're going to eat this. Come on. You are not a teenager. Get out. You look about 40 years old. How is, how is she a teenager? She seriously looks about 40 years old. Also, what is she wearing? She has green eyebrows. She has a lot going on in her life. You can tell. <laughs> she really must have a lot going on. I love how our inventory is literally going to be filled with, like, a computer and a bathrobe. I like how we went straight from bath bathrobe to electronics. <laughs> it was kind of like that moment where we were like, we don't care, we're pretty good at swiping. We're gonna go for the bigger objects, even though he doesn't need the money because he really doesn't do anything. Um, so yeah, we're, we're pretty much just like, yeah, we're sorted. We don't need any money. I don't really play as him that often either, so it's not like... Um, like he does need the money he's not gonna move in anywhere once he's kind of made nina's life hell uh he's gonna he's gonna run back out of town again so yeah there's gonna be a little bit of drama with minx i think oh she's fallen asleep we should wake her up and go say hey to her um can you wake up though leah please come on i want to go like say hey to her he's like yo wake up 
There we go. She's awake. Um, talk about herbalism. We know that she's into herbalism, and we are also into it. We're going to give her a pep talk, um, compliment her outfit. We should lie about our career because we don't want her to. We don't want her thinking we're a weirdo. We're gonna. She's probably asking us what we do for a living. We aren't gonna say we make your daughter's life hell and kind of just yeah. We aren't going to say that. We steal things for a living. That's our career. No. I don't think she'd like us if we do that. Um, discuss cognitive focusing methods. I feel like she's pretty into wellness too. And we'll boast about our biggest catch. We know she's very outdoorsy. We have this information from Nina. So it's good that we know what she likes. We can kind of impress her a little bit with our fishing skills and our handiness and our wellness skills because we know that she's kind of into that stuff too. Um, what else should we do? Infuse about guitar solos. We'll give her a hug. We're already at the stage where we can hug her. So that is what we are going to do. Basically, I feel like a lot of you have been saying, please don't focus on the romance. Um, like hold back on that a little bit because I feel like Youngins has been very romance relationships and dramas and things like that. So I wanted to kind of introduce a little bit something a little bit different and I think we're definitely doing that um maybe we'll even like I'm thinking what we could do to get out of the situation that we're in why did I pause that they can continue whilst I'm discussing this but what we could do is have him live on the youngins um lot like in a tent but they would get very suspicious like that's the only problem with that um, because then we could have a club gathering at their house and we could sabotage loads of objects but I feel like we need to go after Alexi first we're gonna take out the family one by one we're gonna make all of their lives hell that's my plan um Let's tell a dramatic story and discuss her interests with her and also come... Oh, she's leaving. Okay, that's cool. It is like 10 p.m. though, so I'm going to actually leave this part here, guys. I know it was very focused on Minx, but he is going to become a character that you guys are going to see around more. I will be playing as him more frequently throughout this Let's Play, so I hope you all enjoyed this. This was a more in-depth introduction to him i think i've introduced him before but not in too much detail so he is back and he is back to make nina's life absolute hell so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed this part if you did please do give it a big thumbs up and if you do have any suggestions to get around that like club gathering kind of difficulty that we're having then do let me know in the comment section i love hearing from you guys and you guys help me out when i need it so if you have any suggestions, do leave them down below. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye, guys!